I'm here with Jeremy Wagstaff to learn about an interesting trend in Indonesia where the internet seems to have gone entirely mobile, much to the chagrin of some social networks. What's, yeah, what's going yeah, on? That's right, actually. Well, some social networks didn't quite pick up on it. but Some but social networks being? Uh, some social networks being Friendster. Okay. And others uh, did being? Uh, Facebook. So how Facebook killed Friendster in Indonesia? Well, I, it would be giving too much credit to Facebook to say that they, they did this. Uh, I think what happened was that a lot of uh, Indonesians found that they could install the Facebook app on BlackBerry and BlackBerry clones. And there was really nothing comparable uh, for Friendster. And as carrier rates uh, sank to zero and BlackBerry knockoffs came in from China at less than 100 US dollars, a lot of people who either had laptops and computers at home that weren't connected or found that their internet access was restricted at the office were turning to these devices stuck in traffic or even at home and being able to access the internet but on a very small screen. And so something like the Facebook app for the BlackBerry suddenly became a very compelling form of networking. And built into that was the fact that uh, if you do have a BlackBerry then you're, you're able to tap into the uh, BlackBerry network. In, uh, messaging there is entirely free. But even now, uh, if you can update your Facebook account via SMS for such a ridiculously small amount of money, I can't actually remember how much it is, but it, it's very small. And so suddenly, either people who previously had internet, intermittent internet access suddenly have it, or people who didn't have any access at all are able to buy a phone and for virtually nothing a month be online. And this is having uh, a huge impact uh, on, in the same way that SMS had an impact about eight or nine years ago in Indonesia, of suddenly enabling people to communicate very cheaply uh, and be able to build a business around, uh, say, just pushing vegetable around on a cart. Now you're seeing almost a similar revolution taking place uh, with the mobile internet. It's very exciting. And does this mean that the, there is a social media world in Indonesia, even though this is not the world's wealthiest country? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's that old kind of misconception. I'm sure the same is, is true in China, uh, where people are only going to be doing this sort of thing if they've got a huge amount of disposable, in disposable income. People want to communicate and they want to network socially and business-wise, and people see other people doing it, and very quickly a critical mass builds to the point where people who maybe a year ago wouldn't have even thought about doing this kind of thing now realize that it's, it's, it's pretty important to their lives. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.